first steps in the separation from Jefferson County Schools to begin this summer. WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff explains the ruling and how things will change. On a positive note, it's a start. Gardendale Mayor Stan Hoagland reacts to Monday night's court ruling that under close watch to ensure desegregation, two Gardendale schools can splinter away. Right now, Snow Rogers is a proud member of the Jefferson County School District, but a federal judge says Rogers and Gardendale Elementary can begin in the new Gardendale School District effective the next school year. Students here would live in Gardendale boundaries and Jefferson County would help the transition. The surprising thing, you know, to all of us, is the announcement that we can start Gardendale City Schools this year. Judge Madeline Hakela's plan says these two schools must operate to high academic and integration standards in the coming years. Since 1965, Jefferson County Schools have been under the watchful eye of federal courts to ensure racial balance. The new Gardendale School Board has been ordered to appoint at least one African-American member within 60 days. The judge ruled the new Gardendale District could look at adding Gardendale High School in three years' time and the city would have to pay Jefferson County for the high school it built or let it stay in Jeffco with a different name. Area residents weighed in. I think it's great that the school system has a local presence and that the leadership would, would tend to be local then, and so then that would make sense as well. Harriet McGowan prefers the umbrella of Jefferson County. I thing. would think they should just leave it like it is, but they, I don't think they will. Though. Over the next two months, both school districts and the Department of Justice will hammer out a transition plan for this major change. In Gardendale, Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.